a full class here in the new year. I am Sonia, and I will be guiding your practice tonight. So, some of us on our backs are sort of seated. Go ahead and stay wherever feels comfortable for you. Um, Cross-legged seat. If the knees are up above the hips, I suggest sitting up on a block to allow the hips to rise up above the knees. You're on our back, feel free to stay there. If we choose a seated position, just let an inhale float the shoulders up towards the ears and the length come into the side body. Then exhale, draw shoulder heads down and back to open up the chest, create space between the shoulders and ears. Let the palms face up when we're on our back or in a seated position. Allow the eyes to close or just find a soft one pointed gaze. Next breath in, take a deep inhale in, feel the belly rise with air, pause at the top of the breath, and as you exhale, exhale out the mouth with sound. We'll take this two more times, inhale, pause, and with sound, one more time, inhale. to our Dirya Pranayama, three-part yogic breath. So on the next inhale, belly rises with breath, up through rib cage and then chest. And as you exhale, exhale out the nose, still with sound, ujjayi pranayama, that whisper-like sound to the breath. <coughs> Breath is not something to be forced, but to be invited. So perhaps visualizing a newborn baby asleep in the crib, belly rising and falling with effortless ease. Invite that same natural, instinctual way of breath into your body here with Virga Pranayama, three-part yogic breath. Each inhale, belly, ribs, chest. Each exhale, chest, ribs, belly. Gentle draw of the navel to the back of the spine at the bottom of each exhale, squeezing out that last bit of stale air from the lungs. softness to the face with a slight heart and the lips and jaw, that light placement of the tongue just on the roof of the mouth behind the front teeth. And bringing in that yoga pose for the mind, that silent whisper paired with the breath. So on your next inhale, the mind whispers so, and on the exhale, hum. <clears throat> Each inhale, so. Each exhale, hum. It's practice of japa yoga or mantra repetition. It's a yoga pose for the mind, giving our mind this job. Keep it here in the present moment. We keep it connected with the breath and therefore connected with the body. So hum is a Sanskrit which translates into I am that. That means 
all that you arrived here with in this moment, all strengths, all weaknesses, everything in between is whole, perfect, and complete. Nowhere else do you need to be. Nobody else you need to be. Everything here that you need is perfect in this moment. So hum the mantra, embracing all the beauty that you are, all the strength, all the courage, all the peace. We are seated, we slowly let the hands come down by the sides, let the fingertips come out and connect with the earth. If you're on our back, just really hug knees into the chest and just rock side to side. Either rolling over to one side and pressing yourself up or rocking back and forth if that's comfortable in the back and neck and come up to a seated position. are higher than the hip joints, bring the sits bones up onto a block to allow that openness of the hips. So we're energizing hands down and away, fingertips connected to the earth. Each inhale, belly, ribs, chest, we are lengthening through the spine and we're reaching the roof of the mouth up towards the sky. Each exhale, a sense of yielding body weight into the earth, shoulders melting down the back. So even though we're sitting in stillness, we have energetic quality with the breath, each inhale rising upward. Each exhale, yielding into the earth below. So hum, I am that. That is the lightness of the breath that it brings in each inhale. So each exhale, hum with that yielding, providing that rootedness, that grounding connection into the earth. And we begin to add movement here with the breath. So on your next inhale, nice and slow, hands reach out wide, reaching them up above the head. Palms come to touch at the top of the breath, and as we exhale, palms press out and away as we reach, hands out wide, coming back down to the earth. And we continue, so reaching up. <clears throat> palms spreading wings back out, coming down to the earth. So. cycle here so um, so sweep it up hum spread it out one more inhale rise arms up to the sky as we exhale we gently turn to the right so now right fingertips come down behind this and left hand crosses over Thigh. Again, each inhale, we are breathing spine tall. So each exhale, from that twist begin at the base of the spine and spiral upwards, just like a staircase. Notice if there may be strain in the neck with the gaze. Maybe choosing to close the eyes here. Just ease out of the twist just a little bit so we are able to continue to breathe deep and full. So. Um, one more breath in, so belly, ribs, chest, exhale slowly, and line back to center, inhale, so arms sweep up, exhale, hum, we find this to the other side, soft smile on the face as there's nowhere else you need it to be other than this inhale and this exhale. So, hum. One more breath in. 
exhale, slowly unwinds us back to your center. I'm going to block, move the block to the side and switch feet, all of us. So bringing opposite foot in front, which at times this is what we favor the least, so just to even out the body here. And now we take an inhale, we open hands out wide. We're drawing the shoulder blades down the back. We're lifting through the heart. And as we exhale, we interlace hands, we draw them away from the body, we round through the back. So now we're sitting on the back of the sits bone, chin comes to your chest. As hands reach away, we are breathing in between each vertebra here, drawing navel actively up into your ribcage. And then begin to flow here with the breath on your next inhale. So lift heart up, open arms wide. Exhale, hum and round. So. Cycles so hum so hum deep breath in open deep exhale and let your next breath in shift you forward to all hands and knees, sucking wrists directly below shoulder, gaze down at the creases of the wrists, make sure they are parallel to the front of the mat and spread fingers as wide as we can. Take a breath in as you curl the toes under, exhale, Adho Mukha Svanasana, downward facing dog, lifting hips up, press and chest back. Gaze is in between the feet and feet are hip distance apart. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. your next breath in, lower knees down to the mat, find your cow pose, dropping the belly, reaching chest through, navel still drawing through spine. Exhale, round into your cat, arching through the back, tucking tail, tucking chin. Two more cycles here. So reaching heart through shoulders, draw back. Exhale, hum. One more cycle, inhale, and exhale, round. Come back to your child's pose, hips come back over the heels. You reach forehead forward, and it either comes to the mat, stack fist, or a block, something solid here. And here we check in. What thoughts do we have swirling about the mind? Not to see what they are, but just to notice if they are there. And just as easily, those thoughts float it in. Then ride that exhale and float them out. And let that connection of third eye just empty whatever else you might have in the mind. Empty it into the earth below. Bowing into yourself in thanks and gratitude for carving out this time to be on your yoga mat. using Soham Mantra is that yoga pose for the mind. Nowhere else you need to be other than this inhale and this exhale. So calm. In the ancient text of yoga, the Vedanta reads, you are what your deepest desire is. As is your desire, so is your intention. As is your intention, 
so is your will. As is your will, so is your deed. As is your deed, so is your destiny. So as we enter in a new year at the beginning of January, oftentimes we have New Year's resolutions and what we want to see improve in ourselves and our lives. Well, within Vedanta, the ancient texts of yoga invite us to embrace is the knowledge that all that we are, everything we have, are all the tools we already need to manifest what it is. So oftentimes we approach these resolutions that we need to be somebody different or somewhere different in our lives than where we are or who we are. So I invite you for your practice with the Sohan Mantra this evening to let that go even if it's just for a few breaths here on your mat. The idea that it needs to be different. Embrace yourself with deep breath and let self-love, compassion, and kindness ride your breath here on your mat tonight. The same love, the same compassion that you would show your best friend, your mother, your child, hamstring reaching up to the sky as heel flexes towards the back of the room. Take one more breath here. And on your exhale, slowly draw the knee to the nose, shift forward, round through the back just like your cat. Slow foot forward and come into a low lunge. So in our low lunge, we have the option to keep back leg extended long, or we can bring left knee down to the mat. It is your choice whether you want to be energized to that back leg or make that placement of the knee. Let the left palm stay connected to the mat or a block. And we inhale, we peel right hand open to the sky, finding a nice twist here. So our Mani Pura Chakra, or solar plexus energy center, center is right at our navel. So feel that sunlight, that golden yellow color of your will, your power, your esteem shine here. So, hum. Take one more breath in. Exhale slowly, right hand comes down to the mat. Inhale, curl left toes under if they're not already there. And as we exhale, we step the left foot forward to meet the right. We come into a forward fold. Heavy in the upper body. We bend through the elbows. Let them rest in the palms of the hands. We just gently shake the head. Yes. Shake the head now. Find these gentle sway side to side. Baby back and forth. tucked into the chest and we slowly begin to rise all the way up to standing coming into our Tadasana mountain pose. If we're close with our neighbors maybe staggering here so we have room to have the arms open wide. Take an inhale so we want up to the sky so as we exhale hum hands spread out to the side so reach up, palms spread out. So as if we are making the circumference of the sun here, inhale, sweep it up, palms spread out, and back down on the side. Two more times. So golden light radiating, hum from the middle center. So. Inhale, so lift. 
This time as we exhale, hum, we hinge forward and fold. So halfway lift. Hum, fold. Inhale, bend through the knees, sweep arms wide, press through the feet, come all the way back up. We exhale, hands come to heart center. Each time thumbs rest here at heart center on the breastbone. Just a reminder to deepen that self-loving and kindness and compassion. Let that ride in the waves of your breath. Breath of acceptance of what is. Knowing that what is who you are in this moment. Whole, perfect, and complete. In every inhale, so Every exhale, hum. Inhale, reach hands up to the sky. Exhale, hinge forward and forward. Inhale, we lift halfway up, connecting fingertips to shins. And we want to flat back, so we reach the chest forward as we draw the shoulders back. And really scoop of the tail, engaging navel center, igniting Manipura chakra, the fire here right in the belly. Take one more breath in, breathe more length into the spine as crown of the head reaches forward, and your exhale slowly lowers you back down. We pulse with the breath, so halfway lift. Hum. So. to the mat and we step the right foot back coming into a low lunge again the option to connect that back left knee is there and we inhale we reach left hand up to the sky finding our twisted low lunge check in with the face can we bring about more softness here and more radiance to navel and heart center, opening up here. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Take one more inhale. Exhale, release hands to the mat, curl the right toes under, inhale. Exhale, step back, downward facing dog. Deep breath in. Inhale, shift forward to your high push-up and lower knees to the mat for a modified plank high push-up. So in our modified plank high push-up, we're scooping the tail under. We're gazing down at the mat where we're breathing length into the sides of the rib cage and sides of the neck. We're drawing the shoulders away from the ears as crown of the head reaches forward. So we are strong in our core here. Press firmly at the base of the thumb and pointer finger into the earth below. Take one more inhale here, so. 
And as we exhale, we hug elbows into the side bodies. We slowly lower all the way down to the belly. Forehead connects to the mat. Keeping forehead connected, we inhale. Right leg floats up just an inch or two and reach it away from the body to the back of the room. Exhale, bring it back down to the mat. So left leg floats up, reach it back, open through left hip, exhale, bring it back down. Tops of feet press into the mat, kneecaps lift and pelvis anchors into the earth. Inhale, so heart reaches forward and floats up as shoulders draw back, gaze is directly down, long in the sides of the neck. Take a deep breath in. And your exhale slowly floats you back down to the mat. And we'll pulse here. So float up. Bhujangasana Cobra. Hum. Lower back down. So. Hum. Light in the hands here. Anchored with low body. Inhale. Float. Exhale. Lower. Two more times, so hum, so hum. This time as we inhale, we press up to all fours. Exhale, shift back, child's pose, velocity. Let forehead again connect with something solid, a mat, stack fists or hands or a block. Turning inward to your own deepest desires. Your desires come from viewing yourself as lacking or needing. You need to be something other than you are. That is okay if it is. That's human nature. But just recognize that for what it is. Knowing science of yoga teaches us, allows us to experience here on our mat, the beauty, the power, the wholeness within, and it rise every conscious drink of life, every conscious inhale, so, every conscious exhale, hum. up to the sky. Energize the belly of the hamstring, lifting it up high, flexing left foot back. Take one more inhale here. Exhale, knee to nose, nice and slow, round through the back, tuck the chin, and then float foot forward to a low lunge once again. So again, option to lower back right knee, right palm stays connected, and we inhale once again, finding a twisted lunge, and we add movement in here, so deep breath in, lift and shine through heart center, so, and as we exhale, hum, we thread that left arm under the thigh, we round through the back, arching through the back, tucking chin and tucking tail, let your next inhale, so lift you up and open, Hum, thread and round. Three more cycles. So, hum. So, hum. So. 
so um, let the left palm connect to the mat, right toes curl under, take an inhale, exhale, step it forward, forward, forward. Let your next breath in, lift you halfway up, so lengthening through spine. Hum, hold. Inhale, arms sweep up with the sunlight radiating from fingertips. Exhale, spread hands back, out line by your side. Inhale, sweep up, so. Exhale, hum, and forward and forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, full hands connect to the mat, left foot steps back. Always that option to lower that left knee. Inhale, right arm reaches up, peeling open, twisting and shining here. Exhale, thread right arm under, round through the back, tuck chin and tail. Oh, so open up. Hum, round. So, um, so, um, so, um, right palm connects, we curl the left toes under, straighten the left leg, exhale, step back down. Inhale, shift forward to your plank high push-up. Option to lower the knees or option to hold your high push-up with knees lift. Wherever we are, we are breathing the essence of Tadasana in this posture. We're breathing backside of the body up to the sky. And our navel center, solar plexus, is engaged in building the element of fire. That element of will to bring your desires into fruition. One more inhale. Exhale slowly, we come down to the belly. Keeping forehead connected once again, inhale, right leg lifts up and back. Exhale, lower it back down. So left leg lifts up, reaches back. Exhale, lower. Let the fingertips come off the mat to either side of the shoulders. We anchor the low body just like in our Bhujangasana, tailbone, pelvis pressing down, kneecaps lift, tops of feet press, and the inhale floats chest forward and up, shoulder heads draw back. Take a deep inhale here, so as we exhale, hum, right shoulder comes towards the center of the mat. Inhale to center, lift and open heart. Exhale, left shoulder low. One more time each side. So, hum. So, hum. Inhale, we come back up. Exhale, we slowly lower down to the mat. Hands come down by the hips. You have the option to have palms facing down, connecting with the earth, or we can interlace hands behind the low back. Keeping pelvis connected into the mat. Tops of feet anchoring here. We inhale and we lift up with the heart, reaching hands towards the back. We have the option to stay here or float feet up off the mat for focus. Wherever we are, our feet are too touch. So big toe knuckles come to touch and toes flare out if the feet are lifted. Gaze is directly down at your mat, so wrinkles in the back of the neck, but laying to the sides of the neck. We are radiating our sunlight here from navel center radiating out of crown of the head, out of soles of the feet. One more breath in. Exhale, release. Release, interlace, turn the head to one side. 
and just pause here to notice the effects of your locust pose. So, Again, we are activating our Mani Pura Chakra, our energy center, to bring our intentions and desires into fruition or into our own reality. So as we draw up the squeeze of the pelvic floor, we're also drawing in our Uriyata Bandha, or belly lock, drawing that navel in at the bottom of each exhale. Hum. So feeling your strength and power in this warrior posture. And then on your next inhale, so left palm flips to the sky. Draw in left hand to the body. Exhale, press it back. We'll take this two more times. So, hum, breathing in clarity here, inviting in what nourishes you, exhaling what no longer serves. This time as we inhale, both palms flip. Slowly straighten through front right leg, palms come to touch, top of the inhale. Exhale, sink back down into Virabhadrasana two. We'll take this two more times, so nice and slow.
From here, we're going to transition into a high lunge. So we're going to sweep that left arm forward and pivot to the ball of the back left foot, reaching hands high. Feel that scooping of the tail. Inhale, breathe side body long. And as we exhale, we hinge forward as we draw that right hip back. Pausing here, take a breath in. Exhale, hands come to heart center. One more, inhale. Exhale, we twist, left elbow to the outside of the right leg. If this is too deep of a twist, we just simply bring the palm down to the mat. Open up here. So twist, activate our Manipura Chakra here. We're wringing ourselves out. We're not only wringing out what no longer serves, but we're nourishing this energy center with the breath. So how deep is your breath here in this moment? by an electromagnetic field. So here, with the intention of creating more energy in and around the body, and the intention of providing what it is you need to flourish and grow. But the intention, right, the breath as you inhale, so draw right palm in. Hum. Press back, let go what no longer serves to be in this moment. Two more times, so. Hum. So. Hum. Inhale, both palms turn towards the sky. Slowly draw hands up overhead, straighten through left leg. Exhale, sink back down. So we are clearing this space and energizing this space with our breath and our movement as if you're creating a ball of sunlight around us, radiating from navel center. Pausing in Virva 2, getting ready to transition into high lunge. So we scoop that right arm down and forward, lifting up to the ball of the back foot. Take an inhale, lengthen through side body. Exhale, hinge forward. Take a breath in. Exhale, hands to heart center. One more inhale. Exhale, we find our twist. So if we feel strain with that elbow connected, ease out. Hand comes to the mat and we open up. So your choice here. If we are straining and trying to struggle to hold something back off, the idea of yoga is effortless ease. So even in a challenge, we are strong and stable. Boom.
a deep inhale here. Exhale out the mouth with sound. <sighs> Two more times, inhale. Let it go. <sighs> Very cleansing breath here, inhale. <sighs> uh, inhale, knees to the mat, cow pose. Exhale, round into your cat and back to child pose. Pause in here once again in Velocina. Forehead connects to something solid. level of the quantum field of pure potentiality, there's nothing other than energy and information. This quantum field, which is just another name for the field of pure potentiality, is influenced by intention and desire. If you want something to grow stronger in your life, direct more attention to it. If you want something to diminish in your life, Withdraw your attention from it. But it's human nature to oftentimes have that inner critic or that inner voice that tells you you are not enough, you need to be different. And we cycle that thought. So the more we practice yoga, the more we practice mantra, we rewire ourselves, we redirect those thoughts of negativity into truth, into your satya, or your true highest self. Embracing Soham Mantra is embracing the truth that everything in this moment is exactly how it should be. And all its beauty, all its perfection, all its mystery, so hum. Slowly shift forward to all four. Cross feet behind you. Come into a cross. Actually, come into a seat. Dandasana staff pose. Spiral thighs in. Pull the flesh of the behind out. If we have a block or blocks, it can be helpful to squeeze one here in the inside of the leg. Find our seated forward fold here. So squeezing the block here not only energizes the legs, but it can also provide a place for forehead to rest if we're at that place in our practice. Or we can stack blocks. So you want to inhale, lift hands up high. Exhale, hinge a quarter of the way forward. So reaching for the top of the door behind me. Inhale, float up. So exhale, hum halfway now, reaching for the doorknob. So float up. Hum, now reaching for, say, this table here behind me. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, reaching for the bottom of the curtain at the door. So gaze is beyond the body. Pause here for a breath in. Lift to heart center. Exhale, hands come down to the mat. Slide them by the knees. And now round forward. If forehead makes it to the block, that's okay. If it doesn't, that's okay. Visualize a bright, brilliant light at the base of your spine. And as you inhale, light travels all the way up the spine to the crown of the head. So, and as you exhale, hum, send that light back down to the base of the spine. Maybe your light has a color or a texture, maybe an image, a neurological system lighting up the breath. <clears throat> Maybe you are not a visual person. All of these things are okay. Just simply having the intention of light traveling the waves of your breath is all that is needed in this practice of opening up your shashuna main energy channel, bringing more balance and harmony to all your chakra energy centers. So Slowly, hands walk back into the body. If we have a block, we remove it. Take an 
inhale, reach arms forward, and as we exhale, we slowly come all the way down to our back. Settling into our Shavasana, final relaxation. Here we give ourselves the permission to adjust clothing, maybe take a towel to go over the eyes, moving props aside so we are not touching anything. And let the toes lay out to either side of the mat, hands are down by our side, palms facing up. Palms facing up to receive all the beauty, all the benefits of your yoga practice. No effort with the breath, no effort with the body. Once we settle into that stillness, we maintain that stillness. Resist the urge to move or fidget. We invite each natural exhale hum to sink you deeper into the earth below. Allowing Mother Nature to cradle you in her warm and her loving embrace. So hum that loving whisper of acceptance and compassion provide the natural rhythms of your breath.
exhale, float knees into chest. Always that silent thank you, that awareness of gratitude for this beautiful, strong, radiant body you arrived here with. Gratitude for carving out this time for yourself, for having this opportunity to be here on your yoga mat this evening. Inhaling left arm up overhead, roll over to left side, pause in fetal position, letting the left arm support head and neck. Eyes are still closed, and we're still completely relaxed here. On your next inhale, breathe in peace. Exhale, harmony. Breathe in laughter and smile. Exhale, love. Relax into my body. Knowing that the base of all goals is a spiritual one. This internal reference point of our truest, highest self we connect to here on our yoga mat. This reference point, point of peace, of calm, of harmony, laughter and love is always here always here available to you. Slowly press yourself up to a cross-legged seat. Putting hands once again connect out to the side, fingertips yearning down towards the earth. Nice tall spine here. Slow inhale, draw your hands up to the sky, scooping up all that collective positivity we created together and we exhale, we draw it down to our center. We bow into ourselves again in the beauty and essence of gratitude. So hum, I am that. I am peace. I am harmony. I am laughter, I am love. Sealing in this awareness, sealing in this experience, this practice, this evening with one chant of OM, OM being the sound vibration of unity, of life, your highest level of awareness. Together we inhale. shining light in each one of you, bowing together, we say namaste. Yeah. namaste. Well, Shanti, peace. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, for the next month of January, in our deep flow classes here on Monday night, and Stacy teaches another one Thursday at 7.30. We'll be covering... And the same principles we began to touch on tonight with Manipura Chakra here at Naval Center, very appropriate for this time of year of manifesting perhaps some resolutions we would like to make, along with a lot of intention and desire, and also touching on some eight limbs of yoga of Satya, Truth, and Purity, Saucha, which also is connected here with lots of twisting and igniting the fire within. Um, We'll be covering those throughout, exploring them a little bit deeper throughout the month of January in our classes. And I'm teaching a workshop on Sankalpa, or Resolve. So kind of similar to what the theme was tonight of approaching yourself as not needing to be different. But it's a two-hour workshop. It's experiential to kind of help you find what 
your inner truth or desires may be and how to 